Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard episode number 224. Today we're going to go on a massive spree. Well, I say today, over the course of the next two days, it's going to be one of those videos where we do it in several parts. And we're basically going to be proing a bunch of cards. So we're going to start off this video by proing two cards, Finn Balor and Tyler Bate. So as you can see guys, Finn Balor is completely done, 40 games over here, level 55, and then this Finn Balor is also completely done. So it's a really good card in the tier, and it's a pro, so I'm really happy with that. Matt Hardy isn't quite done yet, still got a couple games here and there to play in speed and toughness on that card, and on this card, pretty much everything, uh, yeah, a couple games on Charisma, and then quite a lot on the other ones, and Tyler Bay, as you can see here, also is completely done. Level 55, all tokens used on both of them, proc is 20, so all of that is good, let's unlock Tyler Bate cards, or pro him first, both cards are in Royal Rumble though, so uh, we need to go sort that out really quickly, if we go edit deck, and we should just auto fill, and, uh, and there we go, okay. So let's go to Tyler Bate now. Now we should be able to combine him. There we go. We're going to combine Tyler Bate, guys. The first ever Tyler Bate in this game. There he is, Frode. That's going to be obviously really helpful in the likes of RTG and King of the Ring and all, all of those things. Uh, Finn Balor is next. So let's go ahead and combine Finn Balor. Absolutely amazing pro, guys. Welcome to the catalog Finn Balor Pro. Um, so those are two amazing pros right there that I'm really, really happy with. So we're going to go ahead and lock those in. And we have got a couple other things we want to do. There we go, look, lock both of those in. There we go, look at that, guys. Big Show, Finn Balor, and now Tyler Bay. All pro but all level zero. And uh, what we're going to go do is we're going to get into a cheeky King of the Ring straight away and uh, hopefully win it. So we want to bring the Rock out, and we want to replace him with... With Finn Balor, and then I think Jason Jordan is not okay. Never mind. Well, actually, who's better, Jason Jordan or or, or that? Do we? What do we do? What do we do? Tyler Bate probably isn't better than Jason Jordan, but is Tyler Bate? Let me quick. This is a. This is when this website is really, really useful that I've got, guys. And while we're while I'm looking at that, what we're gonna go do is we're gonna claim Kurt Hawkins from Team RTG and give everyone a big shout out. So we're gonna go on all stat comparison uh, total. So where is he, where is he? We've got Jack Gallagher and Jason Jordan. So Jason Jordan's better over Jack Gallagher pro and then Tyler Bate is better than both of them. So Tyler Bate is the one we wanna use there. Brilliant, okay. Anyway, let's claim. Kurt Hawkins, guys, he is a pro, get in, fantastic, really happy with the team, shout out to everyone who played, especially Sean, Dylan, they killed it, Flame and Colin killed it as well, uh, Sarah, myself, Light, Parker, Real Game Girl and King, honestly, shout out to everyone, did very well, did very well, happy with it. And, uh, and we move on to the next thing, which will be Solo RTG for Pro Alexa. But we're not quite done here, guys, because obviously we wanted to get into this King of the Ring. So we know that we know that out of all the worst here is Jack Gallagher. So we're going to replace Jack Gallagher with, um, with Tyler Bate. With Tyler Bate, who's right here. I skipped over him a couple times. There he is, and he's obviously compatible with not Finn. He's not compatible with Finn. He's not compatible with Finn. Don't know why I thought he was. We are missing a, uh, a left arrow, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. Um, so it's going to have to be Jack Gallagher who comes in, actually. No, he's also... Oh, no, we can put Bobby in here. We could, we could put Bobby in. We could put Bobby in. What I will do is, actually, I will put Bobby in for Finn. And then... And then I think we leave it like that. We've got Finn Balor in there. we got Jack Gallagher in there. It's pretty, I like it, I definitely like it. That's three cards and we're still in SummerSlam tier, so we might as well keep our female tag looking like that. We've got compatible tags, obviously. Uh, we got that big show in there, we got a great Finn Balor in there. That could, uh, that definitely could work out. Obviously, we kind of want to get that Matt Hardy Pro because we're kind of missing another 
uh, right arrow so we can put Bobby in the solo um, but yeah for now I think uh, I think we're definitely gonna go with that I think definitely is the route to go we'll obviously have to level up Big Show uh, Finn Balor and Tyler Bate really quickly but uh, we should be we should be good so start King of the Ring yes please I've got high hopes for this one obviously because we're sandbagging three SS pros and we're sandbagging a female tag so definitely looking positive on there uh, event ends in about 26 minutes guys. It is currently Tuesday night evening. It's soon to be Wednesday Obviously tomorrow preview for Road to Glory comes up. I will be starting team battleground as well later on then um, And yeah, look everything's looking good guys. Everything's looking good I want to give you guys a quick update on Alexa Bliss how her games are looking and all of that It's not bad at all. She is completely done. Okay, um, I, I wasn't expecting that actually. I thought she was. I thought she had a couple games left in a couple stats, but she's completely done. Really exciting that is. Um, obviously, we're gonna get that pro Alexa and hopefully be able to pro as soon as possible because she's gonna be absolutely vital for King of the Ring. So, guys, wish me luck in Road to Glory. I am gonna do my absolute best to grind Road to Glory out as quick as I can because I have got. Hopefully, fuck champions to play this weekend if I can actually qualify. It's looking, it's looking, it's looking, uh, it's looking, uh, it's looking bad, guys. It really is. It's Tuesday. I've got a couple more days, but uh, hopefully I can qualify and hopefully I can get RTG as done as quick as possible and get Alexa Pro as soon as humanly possible. So that's what we're going to aim for, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I know it's an only a really short episode, but we have now got two extra pros in Finn Balor and Tyler Bate and we have still got two more to pro Matt Hardy and Kurt Hawkins this Kurt Hawkins is almost done it's got I mean it's it's three courses of the way there and obviously this one isn't at all I will chuck all of these cards in uh, RTG at the beginning maybe play a bit of wild mode as well until then hopefully at least get Matt Hardy done Matt Hardy's pretty close and we'll see about Kurt Hawkins but that's really good thank you guys for watching drop a like if you enjoyed it I'll see you guys tomorrow and, um, well, no, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. This is not the end of the video. I completely forgot that. I will, no, no, this is not the end of the video. Matt Hardy will be pro by the end of this video, guys. I, I'll, I'll guarantee you guys that. So I'll see you in just a little bit for that and maybe for the preview of the Road to Glory. Till then, guys, take care and peace. Yo, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the episode. RTG preview has just dropped about an hour ago, but it has dropped and it is pretty exciting, guys. I'm going to go through that. We're also going to go through uh, King of the Ring. We've also got the pack to open in Team Battleground to see the cards we've got for this Battleground. Haven't even done that yet, and I don't even know what they are. And, uh, and some King of the Ring stuff. So let's let's quickly go into King of the Ring. I kind of forgot I was in a King of the Ring, I'm going to be honest. And that's why we got a bunch of losses. I'm starting to energize again. But we're not looking too bad. You know, I've uh, sandbagged with three, uh, three SS17 cards. So that definitely should help me out. And it... I should realistically be able to get to the final of this King of the Rings, so still praying on that, and there'll be updates, obviously, in the next episode on whether we actually make it or not. So, Battleground. We've started a Battleground. We're about, yeah, 11 hours, 10 hours to RTG, so 23 hours prep phase, which means we can play some RTG for charges. That's why we waited. We're facing the Fierceless. Let's see uh, my cards. Hopefully it's good. I can tell straight away if it is. It's it's not bad, but it's not great. I won't be last, but I won't be first. Let's put it that way. Uh, Jinder Mahal, Fandango, Heath Slater, Goldberg, Naomi. That's pretty good. Uh, nice. Got. Uh, I'll take that. Decent females right there. I mean, even though it is, no, she is ultimate. Fair enough. But at least, yeah, no, they didn't even tag. That's not. That's not that great actually. Uh, where are we yeah, exactly? I'm not first and I'm not last. Literally, I'm in the middle. Once again, I start a battleground without checking if we had 10 members and we are back down to 9 members. Um, Parker has left us after just joining, but yeah, apparently he doesn't want to play team events anymore, which means we're looking for a new member for the team. So basically, I'm not even going to tweet this out on Twitter or anything because I don't want to actually have someone who I'm like, yes, I will, I'll let, I'll let you in because then it won't match up some type of battleground. I just want to get a member in the team quick as possible. So what I'm saying here is as soon as our battleground is over, literally the first member who requests to the team who has obviously good enough cards to join, obviously good enough tier, and uh, and I'll accept. So yeah, we are looking for a member. 
let's get into the preview of this RTG. And why did I say it's pretty exciting? Well, we'll get there. So first of all, legendary Rayleigh, not bad for people in legendary tier. Uh, Seamus, Emma, Cesaro, Braun Strowman, Sasha Banks. Straight away, you guys can see there are a lot of females already, okay? We are on the elite Sasha Banks, and that's already the third. Bray Wyatt and Nia Jax, another female. So it's pretty good. It's almost like one female, one male, one female, one male in this RTG, which I'm really happy with. Obviously, the SS17 is not a female, but guys, guess who it is? It is another pro. The luck has been off the charts recently. We're going to be getting pro Apollo Crews. We've got Kurt Hawkins pro. we also got that Tyler Bate, that Matt Hardy. We also got that Finn Balor pull, which made a pro. Our luck has been seriously amazing, and it does continue here with Apollo Crews, so I'm really happy with that. And then, obviously, we get Alexa Bliss herself as a pro. So, really an absolutely fantastic ring domination there. Really going to be excited to do it, because Nia Jax is a pro, and that is catalogue. Apollo's a pro, Alexa's a pro. Couldn't be better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do drop a like if you have. I will see you guys tomorrow for a guaranteed RTG stream as usual. I'm really sorry that the last two days I said I was going to do some FIFA streams and I haven't actually gone to do it. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Really am. I don't like saying things and I don't do it. But tomorrow, RTG streams guaranteed. I'll see you guys then. Until then, peace out. Take care.